Hi everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called Human Gods. Today's message is We Serve God When We Help Others. The memory verse is from Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. It says, Carry each other's burdens, and you will fulfill the law of Christ. Denise and Cameron were new to the country. Everyone looked so different, and many of them spoke a different language. It was a strange experience, but they shared their toys and helped others. Pretty soon they made friends, but they also had some kids who did not like them. Just like Denise and Cameron, Paul and Barnabas traveled to a new place where they didn't know anyone. They traveled to share the good news of Jesus' love. Here's the story of what happened next. Paul and Barnabas stopped to rest by the roadside. They looked at the city before them. Most of the people of Lystra don't know anything at all about the God of heaven, Paul sighed. Not for long, Barnabas smiled. The two apostles prayed, Show us, Lord, how to let the people of Lystra know the good news about Jesus. They walked on and soon entered the city. The two friends began to talk to people. Soon, several of the townspeople had gathered to listen. As he spoke, Paul noticed a man who had never been able to walk. Paul may have silently prayed, He believes you, Jesus. You can make him well. Then Paul said to the man, Stand up on your feet. And the man jumped up and walked. Amazing! Unbelievable! People began to shout, How could this be? Someone in the crowd shouted, The gods! The gods have come down to visit us! Others agreed. They believed that their gods sometimes came to help them in miraculous ways. After seeing the lame man healed, they were sure that Paul and Barnabas were gods too. The people became so excited, they shouted, Let's have a celebration! We can offer sacrifices to these gods and give them gifts! Paul and Barnabas moved among the crowd. No, 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 they said. You don't understand. We're people just like you. We have come to tell you the good news about the real God, the true and living God. He is the one who made the sky, the earth, the sea, and everything that is in them. But the people were determined to worship Paul and Barnabas. About that time, some Jews heard about the excitement. They came to see it for themselves. These men wanted to stop the work of Paul and Barnabas. They saw that the townspeople were upset because Paul and Barnabas had stopped their celebration so it wasn't hard to make them turn against God's men. Very quickly, the same people who had wanted to worship the apostles now wanted to kill them. In fact, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city thinking he was dead. The Christian believers of Lystra sadly gathered around Paul. He was bruised and bleeding, but he got up. They helped him back to the city where they could care for him. But Paul and Barnabas decided to leave that place. We will travel to Derby for a little while, but we will come back soon to help you and to encourage you. Paul and Barnabas were willing to show God's love to others. Their words and kind actions led others to know Jesus. How about you? How can your actions say, Jesus loves you? to someone this week. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for gracelink.net Created and produced by Falvo Fowler Post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso The theme music is by Clayton Kinney Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy The audio engineer was Karel Holness For more information, please visit gracelink.net